We have the best medical team available anywhere, and they save lives. He started getting sort of an upper respiratory. Um, uh, it was a, a kind of a sinus infection, allergy combination. And from that point, it just, it just kind of steadily progressed. And so we got on some antibiotics and thought that would lick it. A Couple of weeks later, he was not feeling much better. Anyway, went back to get another checkup and, and it had gone into pneumonia. But I, I know I would look in the mirror and, and my eyes were all were sunken and, and I, you know, I would just, it was, it was kind of scary. I, I, and I, I just think something, something bad. Yeah. So we went, we went to the emergency room and got the IVs going and uh, that was on, a, I believe on Friday, I, I think. And on Sunday, I was feeling a little bit better. That's basically the last thing I remember. After about three weeks, um, it was becoming very frightening that he wasn't waking up. And all of a sudden, there was an eye open. And then a couple of days later, there was another eye open. When I woke up, it was just like I had gone to sleep and, you know, woke up the next morning just like we do every day. Uh, I just didn't know that there had been 30 days in between. And then he started getting better. And everybody at St. Bernard's, everybody was wonderful. One of the ladies that came in to clean the room every day prayed over Mike as she cleaned. And she would always She would always pause and lean over and whisper, God bless you. We're just a walking story of a miracle that is created by God and St. Bernard's.